Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of West Ham Fan TV's Post-Match Pint, the only West Ham United post-match four show on the internet. We've just come back from the Hawthorne wheel, me and Ryan have anyway. It was West Ham 3, West Bromwich Albion nil. Perfect performance. Scott, do the honours, my pair. My pair? My, my pair? My pair? My pair? My pair? It's um same starting lineup. Stain. 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 That's three mistakes really? in, <laughs> in the first minute. You know, um, Adrian Gull, same back four. Antonio Wright, Criswell left. Ogbonna and uh, Reedy in the middle. Holding Kyote and uh, Nobes left. Same team. Pyatt. Same team. Right. Sacco, Lanzini in the middle. Carol up top. Mm. Strong side. Yeah, it was a good very strong side. Good strong side. Strong, strong bench. Strongest Left bench. Denner and Song out of the, out of the squad. Mm. I think Song's done now. I don't think we'll see him back in the squad. No, no, he's, he's done as well. Yeah, he's, 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 he's done as well. Yeah, unless there's a major couple of injuries in the next couple of games, I think them them two are, are, are done. I, do you know what? I, I, I was hoping I'd be angry to come on to them. I ain't seen him for a little while, boy. So I noticed um, someone was saying about him that he ain't getting a chance, and you know, it's, it's, it, I'm surprised. I really. Well, am. I suppose you, you can't really change it when you when no. you're playing that well, can you? Do no, you know I'm not I mean? saying the starts, but who would you drop for him? But that's it. That's the thing. You can't you drop know. anyone. You can't. At the moment, no. Everyone's playing well. Two wins on the spin. Six goals in two games. <coughs> Yeah, you, you don't change the side. If we was like tenth in the table, nothing to play for, it'd mix it up a bit. Mm-hmm. But we have still got something to play for. Yeah, of course yeah. Got yeah. three more cup finals, haven't we, really? You sure always got to put you mm-hmm. like you say, same as been on the run, you've got to stick with it, yeah. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Really? There's ten games unbeaten in the league, you know, you can't I ain't lost since where is it? Southampton Southampton, yeah. In the league, yeah. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. But started off at West Brom today. <coughs> um Bit of a slow start. Yeah, it was a slow start. Awful start. It was a br- yeah. Awful I mean, start, yeah. a better team. We would have we'd have been three 0 down we, in ten yes. minutes. Yeah. Gardner had his shooting boots on. Well, anyone. Uh, there was one. The yeah, first yeah, chance. Even if he had Willett and boots on. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> could have been fucking pussy boots. He should have scored. But <laughs> it around the fucking box like a pinball, wasn't it? The first yeah. chance. Adrian ding, pulled ding, off a good save, didn't yeah. he? Cut a good mm. save. Yeah. But he, he looked so shaky to me at the start. So he shaky. does his fucking thing with the ball today. I, I was talking to him all game. When he just holds onto the ball and waits mm. for the geezer to shut him down, like just it's like it, look it. It's like it looks like he wants to get a foul or something, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah, uh, it, the amount of times he will get caught out. Yeah, it, well, he has been. That's yeah, why he got sent off been. against Southampton mm. yeah. a couple Ron, of seasons when, ago. A couple of times, Rondon almost got out. Yeah, yeah. He, he just, it's too it's too close for comfort yeah. for me. That first yeah. twenty minutes, Winston Reid couldn't handle that Rondon. No. He was barging him off the ball, he, and then Winston Reid sort of worked out what he had to do. Get in front of him, he, he mm. him and he done that for the rest of the way. game. Yeah, Cresswell had a bit of a torrid opening fifteen, didn't he? To be fair, that um, I don't think he had a lot of cover. No, nah, that that uh, oh, what was his name? The young kid for them. Forty-five, number forty-five. Yeah, hang yeah, on, I've got his name. Really. Oh, Lecky, 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 used to play for us. L E K O, I think is. Oh, Lecko, Lecko. Yeah, I'm sure that's how it's spelled. Yeah, he looked lively, but I think it was more. The reason he looks so good is because Creswell didn't know nothing about him. Creswell's got to suss his game out, so he can't afford to step in or put a challenge in in case the guy skins him. Well, it didn't take him long, no. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> um, Great bit of skill to get past. You, the, the first couple of chances, like that, that one when it was just bouncing around everywhere, and they couldn't hit a barn door of a banjo. Okay. Miss it shots after miss it shots, yep. you know, uh, blocks. Good save. Sadio knocked one just wide, didn't he? Like cleared it away. It was going. We're talking about the first one. The first one first. Is that all right? <laughs> no. <I don't> know. <laughs> it's him, great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was bouncing around, and, and like there was about six or seven chances, and like fucking how, how, how many chances do you need? How many bites at the cherry I, do you need? I, I don't know how Gardner missed it. They was awful. <clears throat> they? Yeah, they, was they were awful. They were. Adrian, you know, Adrian, it was good save by Adrian, but. You don't give him a chance, do you? Not, not a seasoned Premiership player should. <coughs> yeah, mm. but they're the home team, isn't they? So they're gonna, oh, yeah. and they're, they're not in the greatest of form. They've they got they, a good they point at the top. They've won in seven. No, they've got think, a good yeah. result at, at Spurs the other night. So well, they've only scored they look, at home. Or yeah, something. they look lively. 
But they looked very organised. Yeah, they looked hard to break down. Tony Puli side. Y- yeah, exactly. That's, that's, that's it's exactly what, what it was. Uh, yeah, yeah. I said to him like when we, we we didn't get really get going in the first sort of fifteen. I said oh, very organised. We couldn't hmm. string a lot of passes together. It seemed to a lot of miss it passes. A lot hmm. of Czech Kyoto, I thought was awful in the first 10-15 minutes. I thought he was our worst player. He him, was just giving the ball away. He never got to nothing. I think everyone was giving the yeah, ball yeah, away. Yeah, it was, yeah. Just, it was just no a nervy, nervy start. And we went low a bit too much. Yeah. I thought in, yeah. the, in the opening 10-15. We went, you know, Adrian's kicks, as you said, where he was being closed down. He's taking his time and he still don't hit our player. You know, because he's having to rush the kick. And Instead of just getting it out under his, like, from under his feet and, you know, finding the West Ham player, we weren't. And there was times when he could have gone short, he didn't. I'll give Randolph a go for the next couple of Do, games. You know. he's, he ain't done nothing wrong. Exactly. No. exactly. Well, no, to be honest, to be fair, it's the first time we've kept a clean sheet in a long while. Yep. <coughs> a bloody long while since yep. Tottenham, wasn't it? Mm. So yeah, maybe yeah. there is calls to... Not changed it. I mean, God, that'd be harsh. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm nitpicking, mm. but I'd like to give him give, see, give it the last few games because I know he was our cup, cup goalkeeper and whatever. You know, so what you'd let Randolph play the last game at the bowling instead of Adrian. Oh no, actually, That's just what's <laughs> yeah. As, as, as Ryan said, maybe the if, Swansea one. If we if we were tenth place, we don't to play for. Then I'd say, but not now. Three games in, we need three yeah. wins to secure Europe. It's got a I think we're strongest eleven. I think we've almost secured Europe, really, haven't we? Because it goes down, to, it can go down to seventh if yeah. uh, United win the FA Cup. Sure, it can go as low as eighth. I think. Uh, well, we no. have, I, think I, th- I think we're, we're going to so. finish. I think we're going to finish fifth. I really think we are. I can't see us losing. It will come down to that last game, won't it? What's What's top four now? Uh, picture Arsenal 1 1 0. So we're eight points behind this. Yeah. Eight points behind who? Arsenal. Arsenal. Man City. What about Man City? Five, but Man City got to play tomorrow. And they should win. I mean, mathematically, it's, 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 still, it's still there. Yeah, it's but still there. Arsenal as well. <coughs> yeah, but you, you need them to at least drop two games. Mm. You need them to lose two games out of four. But then it depends how, how they progress in the Champions League yeah, as well. If they, if, they, if, they get, if they get through. If they win that. Then it don't matter anyway, mm. and that that'd be that'd be just our luck. Yeah, we, we finish get, fourth, finish off, they yeah. win it, and we don't qualify. That's just yeah, just uh, us. Uh, it? it? <laughs> it's the West Ham. But yeah, do you know what the thing is? Right, to be in contention at this stage of the season mm. is is an absolute honour. And I, I remember, not not honour, but what, what can you say? It's an absolute. Sort of it's a privilege to watch it. No, no, it's not. It's no, no, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a <coughs> testament to him. Of course, it is. What, what he's done and what we've achieved this year. And I remember saying to like, and and it's only a couple of refereeing decisions in the in the past sort of three or four games, and we would have been sort of secured in there. And it's like, I remember at the beginning of the season in the Europa League game saying, imagine winning the Europa League and getting into the Champions League like that. And we, we could have done it. We could league. have done it the proper way, mm. you know, the real way. Do you know, I think this season's just give us a taste of what the, what we've got to expect over the next few years. Mm. All the good wins, yeah. the cup runs, getting like going for Europe, going for the Champions League. I think even Paul Merson came out today and he said that it'd be surprised if we're not a Champions League team within three to four years. The thing um, is, to, to be fair, I'd be surprised if we're the, not. The thing is as well. I think a Champions League spot for a team like us at the minute would be a step too far mm. with the move and everything. Yeah. Like I don't think it would. I think we could. I think we're tight to the Champions League. I think we're tight to Europe because if we get into that, we could sign players and we've got the Olympic Stadium. That's going to attract loads of players and we've got a big enough squad now. Yeah, we've only got to add five or six more players to it. Yeah, the, the thing I see with what, Nick, it's got to be what, what you said is that it's it's. Going to that move, that first season in the stadium, sometimes can be a hindrance. You know, you've only got to look at other teams that have so moved So then stadiums. if we got it, you wouldn't enjoy it? No, 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 no of course I would. I, no, I'd love Australia, it. but what I'm saying is it could be Champions League football going into that stadium in the first season, you know, it might not be the best for us. Hmm. Going into Europa League, getting that experience in Europe, building the squad that way, and then aiming for the Champions League the season after, you've got that first season yeah, but nerves out of the way. Europa League as well, don't forget you're going to be playing on Thursday nights. Yeah, so it's, really it's going it to be does, worse. It does, yeah, it does. It, the, Europa like League, the, the, the setup of the Europa League is poor. You know how many games you have to win? Yeah. So, you know, you've got to play 17 games? 
if that's if you start from the group yeah. stages. I, I just think I just think one one more season. Yeah, more I, season. I, I, I I think that. I, do you know what? I wouldn't mind if we not stayed still, but if we we was in this position again next year. Yeah. Where we were just floating outside, like I'm not expecting. Yeah, we're going to go from mid table to Europa League to Champions League to Champions. You know, it's going to be a slow build up and making sure we get the right quality of player. Making sure, you know, a lot of attracting these top top players is proving that you've got the caliber to stick mm. up there. You mm. know what I mean? Like, all due respect to them, but if. Leicester win the Premier League tomorrow. No, no, no Messi ain't going to go. Well, they must be decent because they're the champions. Like mm, I'll sign yeah. for them. You know, what I mean, he's not going to do that. If they won it four years, five years on the spin, mm. he might turn around and go, "Well, you know, yeah. Leicester are the team." Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. I think the, the, a, 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 an attractive proposition is to stick to the Europa Europa places to sort of build on what you've got, make sure, let everyone know you've got ambition. But the but the stadium is a massive... I know what you're saying, but if you keep winning, oh, you you keep you're going to go, yeah, yeah. go in. Yeah, you, you, you are, you yeah. You can't get the fourth place and think we've got 10 games going, we're going to lose them. No, no, no. no, no, no. Totally what agree, yeah. no, what I'm saying, for it. if, yeah. it, if it's can't. there, it's there. But I, I think, like, if, mm. if, we, mm. if we came in the same sort of positions next year, I wouldn't be too disappointed because I'd, I'd see that as progress. Because mm. the amount of times I've seen West Ham finish fifth in the Premier League I've seen them finish next season 17 yeah because this season might just be a fl not a fluke but if we finish next season then you know that that's how we're, go that's how we're that's going we're steady and yeah. we're growing yeah. and that's where we're looking to be a top six team and then you progress to the top it, four it, it pains me to say it but the way Tottenham have gone about it you know, the yeah. qualification for the Europa League season after season, mm. now challenging for the Champions League. You know, that's the steps that we want to be taking. Yeah. Now, know. In my mind, we are, because of the renegation and the things that happen with the finances, the Icelandics and all that, that's why we're so far behind. Yeah. Mm. If I think if things have gone right in that, like with the Icelandics coming in, I, things I, like that, I, I we think we'd be correctly. up there. Not, yeah. not, I'm, not, listen, Tottenham up there on credit. Yeah, yeah top on, 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 on. They've been a little bit. They've been a little bit fortunate. They've been a little bit fortunate because they sold Gareth Bale, and they was in that Champions League places. They got that hundred million from him, and apart from Christian Eriksen, they, they wasted it. Yeah. yeah, and like they signed Soldado for something like thirty million. Yeah, mm. they just happened to have a fifty million pound striker land on their lap. Mm. Because he was just the biggest waste of money, and they they had nobody else, mm. and I mean nobody else. No. So that's a bit lucky for them. So you know, someone like that, a, 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 like an English goal scorer coming into our team, you know, so if someone fell on our lap like that, you know, and obviously they've got the rise of Deli Alley, mm. which you know we've got a couple of good players that could be as influential. We've got young mm. Reese Burke, young Reese Oxford, Josh Cullen, Josh Cullen, yeah. Samuelson, yeah, could be massive players. So, a couple of them come off and, and turn into real good superstars. The way of Harry Kane is, the way Deli Alli is. You know, it's it, it's exciting times, man. It's I really exciting. I think Man City are sniffing around Oxford, don't they? They don't keep sniffing. He ain't going nowhere. He's tied down five years. Mm. There you go. We don't want at, the end, at the end of the day, do you want to play football or do you want to go and sit on the bench? Because yeah, I thought it was the only reason Guardiola wants to sign him is for there because you've got Evan. Certain percentage yeah, of English based yeah, yeah, so why, why, why does that attract people? Why, yeah. is, why is that attracting <coughs> people like Sterling and for Rodwell me, and well, they're, they're, Sinclair? See, and for me, they're people that you should look at. If you're a youngster, right, and I think it bodes well for West Ham that we've, we've signed that Valencia forward and we've nicked the other, we've poached the guy off for Chelsea. Mm. And that just goes to prove that. Same with Samuelson coming to us at this season. They're going to get a chance. <coughs> they can earn all the money they want sitting on a bench for Man City. That's what I mean. But you want to put yourself in Oxford position. You're, <coughs> seven, you're coming up to 17 now. Yeah. Man City coming off and you're off 65 grand a week. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a, yeah, just a be yeah. on the bench. Yeah, yeah, but he right. don't care. He's on the bench at West Ham. Yeah, but, but he's, got, he's got a chance yeah. of breaking like regular first team. Yeah, football. but that's what I'm saying. But you've got to go for it in there. Yeah, position. That's it. You're offered 60. What's he on at West Ham? Probably but, a couple of grand a week. But I, I would look. Mm. I, you've got to look at the likes of Rodwell, Sinclair, <coughs> who had this promising future. Went to Man City, sat on the bench, didn't play. And, and now where are they now? One's at Sunderland and one's at um, Aston Villa. Aston Villa. So both getting relegated. Yeah, no, I don't think Oxford's going to go anyway. But no. I'm just saying, sometimes if 
<laughs> if you was uh, your job and course, someone offered yeah, you that, that, that is 70 it, yeah. grand a week it's yeah. a 17 year old kid that's, yeah. it's the most yeah, tempting thing imagine the things you could do with 65 fucking hell man. and the thing is Reece, Reece, Reece Oxford <laughs> like, nothing's guaranteed in football he might not make it at the Premier League no. alright he, he had a good game against Arsenal but since then, he's only he's come on in bit parts. He's, he's, he's not set not, the world. He's no, not exactly. on. He's 16 years old. Yeah, yeah no, no, that's no, what I'm saying, though. I'm just saying. Just no, we're not criticising. We're just saying, though, know. know, nothing's guaranteed in football. No, of course not. He, no. could, he could not make it in the Premier League. He can end up playing in League One in two well, seasons. Well, the amount of players you do see that break through and are going to be the next big thing and fall off, like a couple of Everton players spring to mind, they used to have them all the time. Cadamartry, remember him? Going to be the next big thing. England. Italy, Germany all wanted him to play because he qualified from all. He ended up playing with Bradford <laughs> or yeah. someone like yeah. that in League yeah. Two. Um, Michael Branch, remember him? Yeah. yeah. Another one, going to be the next. Francis Jeffers. Francis Jeffers, yeah. And they're going to be the next big things. They just fall off. You know, football's never guaranteed. Oh, no, of course so, not. Of you know, course not. like you, yeah. you develop up to a certain point. Yeah, anyway, we've still got a first half to talk about. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so. We haven't even talked about our goal yet. We haven't even talked about the one that Graham mentioned, Antonio clearing it off the that, line. That was after the goal. No, that was before, no, was before was the it? goal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they had three yeah. chances before. The first one where Gardner shot it and Adrian saved it. The second one, if I've got them in the right order, was the header that they just put wide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but that was disgusting. That was an awful miss. <laughs> That was was awful awful miss. Miss. <laughs> Do you know what? I was sitting there and I was thinking, because he was on the floor. And it's just, it's come to him, and I thought to him, it's got to be a goal. And yeah, I started he's, to he's got his positions all wrong, and he oh, thought yeah. he was more central because yeah. he's just yeah. gone like, he's tried to be all smart, and he's just gone wide, <laughs> and he's just standing like that. <laughs> 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 right in front of the West Ham. <coughs> we give him a few, we give him a few hand signals. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that was an awful header. And then, yeah, the one that he cleared off the line was that, but I don't that, know how he got it off the line. That, it was a great that was clearance. Good, that was going in as well. Yeah. I know, yeah. And Adrian beat, and, and he's just yeah. stuck a foot out and just. He stretched in. He, he couldn't stretch anymore. Wide, you know. Well, them three chances seem to give us a kick in the gear because after that, we grew into the game, grew into the game. From then, I couldn't see any other result. From, from that 20th minute to the final whistle, we was in control of that game. <sighs> of course, we started moving it a bit quicker. And, and yeah, and yeah we played some of the best so. football I've seen for a long time. And their youngster as much as he was great in that first 20 minutes was their downfall because mm. he allowed us because he weren't tracking back just leaving a big hole behind massive and we were doubling up <coughs> who was right back was it Gardner or Dawson right back I know, but